Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel. As always, my beautiful humanitarian of the zodiac, this is your general reading for November. Please know this is a general reading of themes that you may encounter for this month. If you would like something tailored and specific to you, check out the description box down below for prices and contact info. Uh, please like and subscribe and let me know if this reading resonates with you in the comments. In December, there will be a website for you to check out and there'll be products, artwork, uh, personal consultations, counseling, uh, and products, articles, and astrology. But for now, I'm so glad that you're here. So let's get into the reading for your general November. Okay, I've already shuffled. I'm going to be using the Shadow of Oz deck for uh, the beginning right now. So um, I've shuffled, cut the deck, and let's get your cards. All right, we have the Page of Swords. Can we see that? Kind of. <clears throat> All right. Page of Swords. And the Six of Pentacles. That probably did not do well in the microphone there. Sorry. And the Ace of Wands. Okay. So let's get this story out. The Page of Swords. This is a message of truth, some help, some information. Always willing to help, but coming or dealing with somebody who is willing to work with you, who is trying to start a new beginning with you, or you're trying to start something with someone else, uh, familiar, already known, and uh, I feel both sides are trying to be balanced with each other and give as much as they can. Um, maybe you or your person or the situation, okay? Um, this is general, so it doesn't have to be a relationship, uh, love per se. That's another reading that will come out within the next week for you. Uh, so if we're going with uh, a situation or an idea, a project, this is something that you are working with somebody. You are trying to get balance because this is something that you really have a passion for, whether or not you relay it to the project. Um, maybe, you know, you're showing your cooperation or they're showing their cooperation, but personal feelings aren't so much involved. Okay. This is about passion of an idea, a concept. And something that is trying to develop itself in the material world. Okay. Next we have the lovers. Or is this the two of cups? I'm so blind. And it's kind of dark in here. Work with me. Okay. Okay. So, as my blind self sees, this is the Two of Cups. So, we might get into love here. Um, this card is very revealing in the fact that we have these shears behind this man, okay? And they're, he's not holding them. You can see both of his hands in here. But they're standing up. And to me, it's saying, uh, I'm not sure about this connection, 
the woman is looking at him like, are you sure? And he's like, hey, here we go. Would you like this cup? And she's like, um, I'm thinking about it. So if this is a project or an idea that is trying to generate this month, I'm not sure that everybody's on board. Okay. The lion's gate is in the back. And the lion's gate is very powerful. It is about something that is, uh, that in the past has been worked on. Who knows how long you've been working on this? I think, um, let's see, maybe in the past month of October, this is something that really came into focus for you. Mm -hmm. But you have a partner in this. And both of you are giving to the situation. Now, I have a sword and I have a wand here. And I'm thinking maybe both. Or one of the two of you are really in your mind about it. Or have given it a lot of thought and are willing to, to meet somebody halfway. Which is great. We have the Page of Cups. I'm sure that wasn't good for the microphone there. I'm sorry. Um, it's looking more and more like a partner. Somebody that you care about or that uh, you are giving your... At least your time to. You're investing in a person uh, and you both are trying to invest in an idea. Trying to find balance. Yeah. But there are options. And there's a lot of... We have the Seven of Cups here. A lot of trying to figure out exactly the investment and the time you want to give. Okay, so when I'm looking at all of this, uh, the bottom half of this reading, which would be the current idea, it's all in feelings. Whereas before, it was more about passion and a material gain. Or something tangible that you were reaching for um, to grasp a hold on in your mind. And I think that through this whole process, you've fallen in love with an idea. Could be a person or a concept, okay? I don't want to get into, this isn't a love reading and I don't want to make it about love. But you have really emotionally invested your yourself in an idea just keep in mind that it's general so this could be the person that you're working with or the idea of okay uh let's go ahead and clarify right now and let me get some cards i would like to uh let's clarify this idea this investment and the passion within it what do you have for clarification? Okay, a couple cards here. Let's take a look. All right, I have the Ten of Cups and the Hanged Man. Okay, so see again we have the cups so in the the overall wanting of this is happiness okay uh and finding a point of view on it which you can work with so maybe you're hesitant about this i mean it's something you want definitely but there needs to be a point of view that's looked at or a sacrifice of some kind and that tells me that you know suddenly we get into emotions about it 
And I really think that, you know, the idea is tied to a person. Even though I want to stay away from love in this, I can't deny that there is deep emotion within this. Especially with the Ten of Cups. Okay, so let's clarify what will currently be going on in this month. All right. And we have, yeah, the Knight of Wands and Temperance. Sorry about that again. Um, so you're gonna you're gonna go full force into this and you're gonna try to balance and alchemize this to your objective. And let's see, let me get more cards to see how this the outcome, okay? So what do you have for the outcome? Ah. Okay. The page of pentacles. So you're putting out the message and it's going out. Spirit says this is something that can be successful. And since we're ending with the pentacle, you're going to choose what is viable despite what you're feeling inside. And there's nothing wrong with that. This seems to be a situation where you are going after a venture or a passion. And it seems fitting that we end with the page of pentacles because that is setting something the groundwork okay and uh we have the knight of wands after that which means putting forth an effort and then temperance which is a little bit of patience finding the right combination so because currently we have these emotions they're all coming into play this month you're going to find the balance in your Ten of Cups there, in the idea, uh, the Ace of Wands there, and the Hangman. It's either going to be a new perspective that you find in it, or a sacrifice, and that is going to bring about this Page of Pentacles, which will start your beginning of this. So, if you would like a more personal message for this, please check the description box and get a hold of me. And I would love to do a reading for you, Aquarius. You are beautiful and a humanitarian. And I love that. I'm a fellow air sign. So let's do this. And I hope that your month is full of the passion and the desire and the fulfillment that you're looking for.